Welcome to avionicseducation.com. In this video, we're going to do something a little different. We're going to learn about the AMP Mechanic Inspection Authorization Designee. Welcome back to avionicseducation.com. My name is Bruce Bissett. You probably know me as an avionics expert, the author of eight textbooks on avionics subjects. What you probably don't know is I also teach AMP and FAA subjects. In fact, for the last five years, I was an instructor at the FAA Academy in Oklahoma City. So one of my expertise is also in an inspection authorization for mechanics. I've been an IA for over 22 years both performing annuals and, as an FAA inspector, issuing inspection authorization designees, and that's what they are. So what is the purpose of a mechanic holding an IA? Well, it has to do with the fact that every general aviation type certificate aircraft flying in the United States and some other parts of the world, or in registered aircraft, every year are required to have an annual inspection. Now, that inspection must be done by a mechanic who holds an inspection authorization. Well, what does that mean? Well, that means that every year the owner has to make arrangements with a particular mechanic who can perform the inspection, noting the discrepancies, give that information to the owners for them to correct with a mechanic. And this has to be done every year to maintain the airworthiness of the aircraft. Now, there's other duties that an IA can do, especially in this day when aircraft are being modified. Another FA designated function of an IA is to be able to approve or inspect and approve major repair and major alterations. Now, this makes the assumptions that the data is already approved, et cetera, uh, or that has data. What that means is that for a project that requires an FA form 337, that block seven and a mechanic with an inspection authorization could sign for it. And the other thing that an IA can do over overseeing progressive inspections. Now what a progressive inspection is, is nothing more than the annual inspection spread out over a year. So it might be four smaller inspections instead of one big inspection. And this allows flight schools, for example, to not have their aircraft down for long periods of time. What an inspection authorization is, is an FAA inspector delegated authority, which means you're essentially a, like a DME or a, a designated mechanic examiner or a designated airworthiness representative, in that you as an IA actually are performing the functions that is delegated to an FAA inspector. In fact, you look on the FAA Form 3 through 7 and Block 7, there's a place for an FAA inspector to sign. What this allows that person to do is to be able to work on behalf of the FAA to ensure the airworthiness of the aircraft. Now, what is it not for is that it's not for an aircraft that operates under a CAMP or a Consolidated Aircraft Maintenance Program, because these tend to be large aircraft, air carrier aircraft, the airliners you know, which means they have their own inspection requirements. For us, when I worked for the airlines, that was an RII. So to become an IA, you have to go to your local flight standards district office, or it could be an IFO if it's overseas, which are very rare. Now, the minimum requirements is that you have to have been an airframe and power plant mechanic actively working on aircraft for three years. Then you need to interview with the FAA to determine that you have the basic knowledge before you even get the authorization to go take the exam. Now, one of the things that the FAA is going to look at when they do your interview is, do you have knowledge of inspection material, access to inspection tools and equipment. Do you have a facility that you could work out of that could be inspected by the FAA, or at least some way where the FAA can contact you during the day? And a few other things that you need to have as a FAA delegated inspection, uh, inspection authorized mechanic. Once you get the authorization, then you would go to the online uh, testing centers to make an appointment to take the exam, the thing to remember about this exam, it is not published. So how do I get this information? Well, a lot of it comes from working with a small repair station in the FAA world, they call them uncertificated repair stations, meaning 
that is a place that aircraft maintenance is being performed, but instead of having an FA issued certificate for the entire facility, each mechanic works under their own certificate, including the local IA. You can apprentice with that person and learn the processes of being an IA. Or you can attend the many schools that are located around the countries. I actually just finished an IA test prep course, and it's a hybrid course, which means it comes in two parts. First, I wrote a textbook. The textbook was actually written as part of my 40-hour live presentation course. The hybrid part is the fact that it has an online element. So when you buy the book through my website, you have free access to my online IA test prep course. What do you get there? Well, you get access to four practice knowledge assessments. And this is practice based on the four parts of the training. And I have 10 practice projects that allow you to review an MEL, to look at a progressive inspection, to perform an annual inspection, to create an airworthiness directive record, to evaluate an STC, to evaluate a type certificate data sheet, among many other things that are required to be known when you perform your job as an IA on an aircraft. How to get the book and access to the online program, I have down below in the comment section. So good luck moving forward in being an IA. It can be a very lucrative and fun field in working with aircraft owners and companies to ensure that we have the safest aviation fleet in the country. Hey, thanks for sticking with me for so long. If you like this video, don't forget to press the like button. And if you know anybody that's a mechanic, please share this video with them. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll be notified when new videos turn up on the site. So until next time, keep it safe.